Stare at it all you want, but as long as I have this bracelet, I own you. You foolish little girl. You imprison me here. You refuse my help, all the while that hybrid monstrosity roams the city, free to prey on anyone you care about. Those few that remain. What happened to decorum? Does no one greet their guests anymore? Well, that's more like it. Although I am rather disappointed at how many of my once formidable brethren have been neutered by a 16-year-old girl. Where is she? Where is this witch who dares craft moonlight rings without my permission? Knee Klaus. I've been expecting you. I must offer my condolences on the tragic loss of your child. Wasn't it your coven who threatened her life? Is that tea your idea of a peace offering? Chamomile has lots of healing properties. Did you know that it's also a flowering plant? I did. The plants grew wild near my boyhood home, but neither the tea nor your botanical musings explain the reason why you've taken it upon yourself to forge new moonlight rings. I assumed it was obvious. An alliance between the wolves and the witches would restore balance to our home. Well, that's a lofty goal for a teenage girl. Long ago, the witches and the wolves were at peace. Then came the vampires. A plague made flesh. A curse on this earth. You have no humanity. And so you punish those who do. Witches have a coven. Werewolves have a pack. And so we are a constant reminder of everything that you have forsaken. Creatures such as you will always hate the living. And so we will always have to defend ourselves. The rings level the playing field. If we are united, Nothing can stand against us. It's an ambitious strategy. Allow me to offer a few words of advice, if I may be so bold. New Orleans is a vicious place. And your enemies are everywhere. Behind your back. Before your eyes. You will need to remain vigilant against those who would seek to destroy you. Some of whom you may never see coming. I've already begun to take precautions. In fact, I'm taking them as we speak. <laughs> 